So we're back with the unit circle. Remember the unit circle is a circle that has a radius of 1. So what we're going to look at in this video is we're going to look at coming up with the coordinates for the standard points here in quadrant 1 of the unit circle. Pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, and we'll do pi over 2 as well. Okay, we're going to come up with the coordinates for those points, and then in a second video we'll talk about how those points relate to the trigonometric functions for those particular angles. Okay, uh, 0 and pi over 2 are actually our easiest points. If you take a look at our uh, quadrant here, again, we're in quadrant 1 of the unit circle of the graph. Okay, if this, if this unit circle has a radius of 1, you should be able to tell me what the coordinates of this point is right here. That point is the point 1, 0, isn't it? And then if we have a radius of 1 here, this point up top is going to be coordinates 0, 1. Okay? The tricky ones are these ones in between, pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3. But they're not terribly tricky if we can look at them in terms of special right triangles. So we're going to talk about special right triangles. And if you need, to, if you need a review of special right triangles, make sure you take a look at that video. So let's take a look at pi over 6 first. I'm going to draw a right triangle here. A little bit of a sloppy right triangle. Maybe I can do better than that. Okay, let's do a little better than that. How about if I do this and then straight down and then connect those two? Much better. There's my right triangle. Okay, so we said that a unit circle has a radius of 1. So this side of my right triangle is 1. But I also know this pi over 6 angle is actually 30 degrees, which makes this 60, which makes it a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And if you look back again at that special right triangles video that I did, you'll also discover that we actually did this particular triangle with a hypotenuse of 1. And we discovered that this side would be radical 3 over 2, and this side would be a half. So if you take a look at this coordinate point right here, that coordinate point has an x value of radical 3 over 2, and then a y value of 1 half. So my coordinate point here is radical 3 over 2, 1 half. Those are my coordinates. I can draw a similar right triangle. And I'm going to keep using red because it's the same kind of right triangle here. It's a 30, 60, 90, but it's oriented a little different. Here, there, there. Now let me go ahead and erase this part of it that we don't want. Okay, so we have another right triangle right here, don't we? Okay, and if you look at this, this angle right here is also 30 degrees. Let me erase this. Oops. I need to erase this one here so we don't get confused. There we go. Okay, this angle right here is 30 degrees, and this angle is 60 degrees. It's the same triangle, it's just oriented different, isn't it? So if my hypotenuse is 1, this side is now radical 3 over 2, the long leg, and the short leg is a half. So for pi over 3, my coordinates are reversed. This is 1 half radical 3 over 2. Okay? 
I have one more triangle I can draw. Let me do this one in blue. You know what? Let me clear out my 30, 60, 90s. That way it's absolutely clear what we're doing here. There we go. Much, much better. All right. So I have another right triangle here for my pi over 4. Okay. This again has a hypotenuse of 1, but this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle, isn't it? Because pi over 4 is a 45 degree angle. Okay, and in our special, our special right triangles, we said that my sides, my legs, for a 45, 45, 90 triangle with a hypotenuse of 2, I, sorry, with a hypotenuse of 1, were radical 2 over 2. So again, if we look at our x and y coordinates, here's our x coordinate, radical 2 over 2, and our y coordinate is radical 2 over 2. Radical 2 over 2 radical 2 over 2. So let me go ahead and put my uh, 30 and 60 degree uh, coordinates in there as well. Radical 3 over 2, 1 half, and 1 half radical 3 over 2. Very, very important measurements. So those are our standard coordinates in quadrant 1. Again, we've got 1, 0, for an angle of 0. We've got this coordinate for pi over 6. We've got this coordinate for pi over 4. We've got this coordinate for pi over 3. And we've got this coordinate for pi over 2. Very, very important to coordinates. Uh, and there are ways of remembering it if you want to take a look at it. Um, if you look at them, they go radical 3 over 2, radical 2 over 2, and you can actually think of this as radical 1 over 2 because radical 1 would be 1, wouldn't it? So going away from the x-axis, the, the numerators decrease, and coming back towards the x-axis, they decrease as well. The y-coordinates, radical 3 over 2, radical 2 over 2, radical 1 over 2, or plain old 1 over 2, but you will notice they all have a denominator of 2. However you want to remember them, that's what you need to do. Okay? But all you really need to know for the rest of the coordinates, we're going to fill in all the other coordinates on another video. Okay? There are lots more here. There are 16 of them total. Um, we're going to fill in those. And uh, all you really need to know are quadrant one. And once you know quadrant one, the rest of them actually come pretty easily. But that's for our next video. So join me for that one. That's the standard coordinates in quadrants two, three, and four. But what you've just learned is quadrant one. Thanks.